The Demon, or Il Demonio, as the original title says, is an Italian horror film from 1963 that seemed to be totally forgotten in the world of cinema today, which is very odd for reasons I will be talking about during this review. The Demon takes place in a small village in the southern parts of Italy, where you focus on a young and tormented woman named Puri. She is unable to accept the fact that the love of her life, Antonio, is getting married to another woman and her obsession towards him is driving her insane and making her become hated by the entire village, including her very own family. She becomes so overtaken by this obsession that her acts make the superstitious people of the village believe that she might be a witch or even possessed by demonic powers. The demon is not your common horror movie meant to scare or frighten you. Instead this is a psychological horror focusing on the mental breakdown of the Puri character and how superstitional beliefs can take over a person's mind. There is a lot of themes here that might be hard to get for modern audiences, and hell, I'm not gonna pretend that I understand everything about older Italian culture myself. The film is also supposedly based on a true story, and it is one of the earlier films I can remember to have a warning based on a true story type of intro to it, although I would not be surprised if there has been others before it. Dalaya Lavi has to carry the entire movie on her own as Puri, and she does it remarkably well. Puri goes through so much here, and you do feel for the poor girl, even if she is doing questionable things to get attention from a precious Antonio, to the point where she even attempts to put a curse on him. You can feel the loneliness and desperation within Puri, and it's not hard to become fascinated by this lovely girl. Lavi is perhaps best known for her part in Casino Royale, but genre fans will rather remember her for her part in Mario Bava's The Whip and the Body. Her part in The Demon must have been very challenging and controversial for her, and I hope at the time that it did do good for her career as she deserves it after living such a strong performance. The atmosphere in this little village also comes across as very authentic. The people involved look like real villagers and not like actors at all, which gives us a very interesting look at Italians and the old school culture of that time period. Their superstition makes them believe that there is an evil entity controlling Puri, and that brings us to some of the most interesting scenes of the movie. She actually goes through an exorcism in a church and does a spider walk 10 years before the exorcist came out. After seeing this film there are several scenes here that makes me convinced that author William Peter Blatty must have seen this film before writing the exorcist book. This footage kind of blew my mind as I've heard nothing about this film at all before seeing it today. I must have either been blind or not noticed it's been mentioned before, or this film is just really forgotten by everyone. And this alone makes this worth seeking out for fans of possession movies and of course also fans of The Exorcist. Oscar nominated Brunello Rondi is the mastermind behind The Demon. He has been a regular collaborator with Federico Fellini, and a big surprise to me is that this is also the same guy who did the women in prison exploitation film right in a women's prison 10 years later. Now that's a quite a big change for a more artsy type of film with social commentary like The Demon. There is also a lot of ways to interpret this movie, and it is a film that would fit well into the Criterion collection. I am shocked that this film is more known as it is a masterpiece of its time and it still works today even if it feels a bit dated. You have to have an appreciation for all the movies, and if you are one of those who dislike the idea of black and white movies, then this is absolutely not something for you. It's also very dramatic, and if that doesn't sound like something you can enjoy, then just skip it. For those who find the things I mentioned interesting, then see it if you are actually able to find it. The Demon is the biggest discovery I've had so far this year, and even though it is a bit dated, it is an excellent piece of cinema. The Demon gets a solid 4 out of 5. Ok, I can't be the only one that appreciates this film, can I? I would love to hear from others who have also seen it. And have you discovered anything forgotten lately? Spread the word of it in the comment section below and subscribe for more obscure movie reviews coming to this channel in the near future. Thank you so much for watching.